All right, I'm just going to show you guys how to program one of our programmable speedometers. Um, so first, you're going to just want to press and hold the button for 10 to 12 seconds. Um, it's going to bring up the peak recall mode, but you're just going to keep pressing and holding the button even through this. All right, so we're in the calibration settings. Um, I'm going to show you the PPM first, and we'll show you how it changes. So we're going to get the box around the help, and you're going to press and hold. And you guys can see on the PPM it says 29549, and that's the number that is programmed into the gauge when you'll receive it. So I'm just going to let it time out, and then we're going to go into the programming mode. I'm going to press and hold for 10 to 12 seconds once again. Alright, I'm going to press the button, get the box around the PPM. Press and hold on the PPM and I'll go in the calibration mode. All right, so we're in the calibration mode right now. We're about to start the two miles. So we have this set up to a drill just to simulate the transmission on your vehicle. Um, it's just hooked up to one of our electronic pulse um, speed sensors. Um, so I'm just going to push the button to start. Um, we're going to just have this drill going for two minutes. All right, so we just got done with the calibration mode. I'm going to press the button right now to end the programming. All right, and they'll say complete for the calibration. And you calibrate your gauge. Uh, I'm just going to show you how the PPM has changed. All right, so I'm going to press and hold and go into the help menu. All right, so we can see how the PPM has changed. Um, it's at 4,008. Um, that's obviously just programming to the drill we had. Um, your number is probably going to be a little bit higher. could be a little bit lower. As long as it's in the range between 500 and 250,000, that means you know you got a correct calibration with the gauge.